<clears throat> Hello, y'all. It's me again, Ashley. Um, I'm coming on because I want to talk about what's been happening and what I think is uh, been going on in our world. Um, so, I've, if you've been watching what I said last time about the sacrificial lamb mentality, from what I've been gathering, or at least what I think is going on, is for those of us that do have the 144 sacrificial lamb marking, gubba, 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 um, we are now going through, and I'm sure all of us have been going through these trials with these um, dark-sided entities in order to teach us... Shh. Mommy's making breakfast. Uh, to teach us which side we're on. And I think what happened is, that, like, for example, within my own life, um, I saw that I was having that pattern of the same demonics coming back again, trying to do the same trial all over again to me. And I realized I was like, oh, maybe, for example, all of us, us all 144,000 of us are going through these trials right now. And it's just so that we can reclaim our power and we can reclaim what was destined for us to take on. Some of us lost partners. Some of us lost um, faded partners. Um, judgment was called after all of these trials. And uh, for some of us, we made it. For some of us... For some of us, we made it, and some of us, we did not. However, those bipartisans that were involved, that were on the other side trying to take us down, they're all going to be uh, brought to judgment. And unfortunately for those, as you'll probably see around the world, there's going to be a lot of deaths, a lot of jail, a lot of stepping down, a lot of people, a lot of uh, th <laughs> things being brought to light. So, sorry, I'm just trying to feed my son at this time. So if you yourself feel like you are a chosen one and you just went through a trial, a severe trial that's going to show you who you really are, um, once we pass these trials and all of the negative forces that were trying to take us down had to subside and judgment was being called on, on, on the world, in a sense. And uh, like the way I always look at the demonics or, or, or the devil, in, in, for example, is like they're a great teacher because... Like I was saying before about narcissists, it's like, if you really want to see what you're made of, go up against a devil or a narcissist or, or something of that energy and you'll really see who you really are. Because the inner core of yourself will either fight or flight. You know what I mean? You'll either fight through it or you'll just let it succumb. So for those of us that didn't make it through to the other side that didn't fight, I'm sorry. Um, but I, I have a feeling in my heart that a lot of us did because there's so much turmoil changing over that I think a lot of us did. You're going to see suicides. You're going to see a whole bunch of stuff. I'm sorry to say this, and I hope this doesn't come the wrong way, but I think there's going to be more death coming our way. And it's just because of the decisions that people made at the time of judgment. Uh, so I don't really know how this plays out, but I, I, I mean, I go back and forth, but I truly feel like right now is a time of prosperity for those of us that did pass our test. I feel like we are supposed to co-create for those of us that lost divine unions. Um, hopefully our divine partners will ascend. Maybe they won't, but I think the time was called. It's like, I kind of get this feeling like, have, has anybody played like musical chairs? I kind of feel like. The music was playing, the music was playing, and then the minute that the music stopped, for those of us that were in the right space, in the right place, we ascended, we are, we're moving forward. For those of us that did not, obviously our souls are destined to go to a certain to a certain path, but I feel like they were diverged, and maybe they're going to have to come back and do it again. Whereas for those of us, because we're at the, the right time, the right place, uh, we we passed the test when we were supposed to pass. It's like maybe we we broke down all the all the all the carrying or the domino effect behind us. Like I mean, in sense of like ancestors, etc. It's like I feel like we. It's like what's that game? Squid Game. It's like kind of like we played Squid Game and we made it type of thing. So every it's like everything was on the line for us to pass, and for those of us that did. Um, I, the sky's the limit now of where we're going to be headed. I think we're afforded um, whatever path it is that we want to follow. So I just wanted to come on and, and talk about this because if there is more of us that have gone through it, like I'm totally up for talking because like it was hell on earth that we had to go through 
um, just to get to this side of the of of things. So um, that's what I wanted to talk about. I don't, and I think it's like the reason why this all was available was because of the timing again. Like I think the veil got thinner. I don't know if it was like a year ago, two years ago, but I feel like the veil got thinner at some point, and this allowed like old entities or this allowed like old players to come back on the playing field and really take a shot at whoever they wanted to take a shot at. So like for example with myself, like I how I said like there's this recurring karmic family that keeps coming after me. This is my second time dealing with it. I don't know where in my past I have a family that's coming after me, but maybe I did something in my past where like I incurred this karmic family coming after me kind of like a cinderella story it kind of feels like you know there's the evil the evil mother and the two children that are trying to terrorize you to the point that you break but then all of a sudden you get saved by the holy spirit and you end up transforming into cinderella and living out your dream it's kind of something like that so if you've been experiencing something along those lines like i said the characters could be whatever characters judgment's been called and right now everyone's picking up the pieces because i feel like whatever was overtaking these souls at the time to use them to to get them to to um send the sacrificial lambs to damnation in a sense or slaughter them they're all being called on and unfortunately when the music stopped if your soul was on the wrong side you're gonna have a lot harder of a time trying to ascend and also at the same time once you do ascend, it's like you don't get the accolades you would have if you had been in the right place when the music stopped. I hope that makes sense. But uh, yeah, that's what I want to talk about is the sacrificial lamb matrix that has been stopped, I believe. And now these sacrificial lambs are the 144,000. They're being, they're, you know, they're being able to finally tap into what they really are and they're going to start their process. So... I wanted to talk about that and say, hey, congratulations. So you'll see in the news a lot of death. You'll see a lot of people being taken down. You'll see a lot of things going on because this ripple effect, there's people going to jail, there's court, there's a whole bunch of things that are going to be rippling around the world, I think, for the next months. Uh, I think maybe until the spring equinox, something like that. But I truly feel like this is the energy that we're in. So we have to kind of sit still, be humbled. And at the same time, kind of figure out which direction we're trying to go. Um, we don't have any like deadlines thrown at us or whatever the case may be. We're going to be gifted and, and, and sent in whatever direction spirit wants to send us into or God or, or whatever way you want to take it. But that seems to be what's going on, at least in, in my world. And I translate that all the time to the rest of the world simply because, um, you know, what happens to one happens to all. So... Or what happens above happens below. I don't know if there's some like spiritual warfare going on up there. It seems like that. And I know this is going to sound even crazier because I kind of feel like the reptilians and the greys are siding with the demonics. And they're trying to help them. And then we've got the galactics and Ashtar trying to help us. It's like as if like there's something going down. There's some type of decision being made. I don't know if it's Mother Gaia that's going to see like what the, where the balance lies and how she's going to turn over or whatnot. I'm sorry I'm rambling, but this is all the things I've been like downloaded and feeling and getting. I don't know how it all plays out. I'm saying, but it's 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 a fantastic time to be alive. That much I can say. And that's all I want to say, guys. I love you. Let's just keep per persevering, and we've got this. Okay. Love you all. I love you too, baby.